Hi, welcome to this new video of the now popular series 213 in 2013. I'm Celine Navarro, Garden Girls at twopeasinabucket.com. Each week we're giving you prompts to inspire you throughout the year. At the end of 2013, you get 213 prompts to get started on any kind of creative projects. This week I would like to show you a brand new layout that I videotaped a while ago. I have picked 5 new prompts to inspire you this week. Prompt number one, recycle old chipboards. So for, for this video, I came up with the idea of recycling all my thickers and old chipboards that I don't use anymore. So you will see that I use different kind of um, thickers from American crafts here on this layout. And what I do is I randomly glue um, some letters, some numbers, three different, um, four different kind of um, fonts. On the, on the left page is, um, I am going to write a part of my title. You will see this as being one of the next prompts. But as I'm going to actually cover the whole thing with Gesso, what I want to do first is come up with an idea of highlighting some of my title with the technique I'm going to use here. So first of all, I'm just going to play with letters and numbers and I'm going to cover part of um, my layout. What I did here is that I didn't cover the whole um, cardstock here. Of course, you can definitely cover the entire surface of both your eight and a half by 11 inch cardstocks. But it's really up to you. What I wanted to uh, do with this layout is leave some blank surfaces here and there. And knowing that I'm going to glue a picture and a couple of embellishments here and there, I really wanted to keep something really simple here. Prop number two, cover with gesso and mists. So now you can see that I'm done with sticking thickers and, and chipboards on my layout. And what I'm doing here is that I'm going to cover the entire background with gesso. I mean, not only gesso all over the thickers and, and chipboards, but also all over the paper. So that later on you will see that I'm going to play with mist and water. So I really, really need to work on a kind of plasticky surface. If I work with mist directly on the chipboards and the paper, the, the fibers from the paper will kind of suck in the color and I won't be able to get that watercolor vibrant effect that I can have um, with mist on a plastic surface. So here you can see that I'm highlighting um, some of the chipboards because I really want to see them afterwards um, and I don't want to cover them with gesso. So here I'm rather using quite a lot of gesso all over the surface, but I don't want something really thick. So you really need to spread the, the gesso the best way you can with a brush or a card, but you really want to cover all of your chipboards um, with, miss, uh, with the gesso, sorry. Uh, once the gesso is dry, I'm adding a tiny bit of water and then I'm playing with mist, as you can see here. So a lot of water. Basically what you do is first water on the dry surface and then mist and then more water. And then you might want to play with two to three different colors, not more than that, because they, they're going to melt together, they're going to mix together. So you really want to work with the colors that really work well together. For example, I use three, um, two different blues from Studio Calico. And then I use the gold Mr. Yui um, spray ink from Studio Calico as well. And then I'm using a brush to actually, you know, bring together the colors and mix them. And then I had more water. Prompt number three, it's okay to scrapbook set photos or set stories. Um, so what I did here is basically I 
took this very sad looking picture. Uh, I was sick and I was feeling quite sad that day. And this is pretty rare as I wrote on my um, layout. But I just wanted to share that it's okay to scrapbook about, you know, sad moments or sad memories. I mean, you won't scrapbook about them every day but every once in a while you want to show that you're actually a human being and that you cannot be happy all day all week long or all year long so it's okay prompt number four make your own feathers so here what i did is i grabbed a work cardstock and a jenny Ballin studio um stencil and i draw my own feather and then i'm going to doodle inside that feather. So you basically need a thick white marker um, for um, doodling. If you want to actually draw some thin lines and things like this, you might want to get like American Craft one ballpoint um, kind of pen. But here I used a really thick um, pencil so that it would be faster to actually um, doodle inside that feather so um, basically you just doodle or do whatever you want inside that feather and then you're gonna cut it from the paper and then you're gonna add a um, little bit of sewing inside the feather and then I'm going to do another feather still using the stencil in um, the gold um, studio calico gold uh, mist uh, with a cut and right foam and then I'm going to cut it and use the sewing machine inside and then I'm going to use it on my layout. So now that you used uh, your sewing machine to create some kind of texture inside those feathers, um, you just really need to um, actually glue them on your layout. And that's probably why I wanted to leave some white space on my layout, was that because I really wanted to make my own feathers and that I needed space to do that. What basically what I usually do is I always leave some white space on layouts because you you never really know what you're going to end up with. And having white spaces on layouts allows you to um, be free and decide later on what you really want to do on your layout. So um, this is something that I quite do quite a lot. Anyway... So now your layout is almost um, finished. So this now it's going to be a little bit like embellishing with stuff. Um, here it is a little bit of washi tape at the bottom of my right page. Um, and now you're going to add a little bit more of embellishments here and there. Prompt number five, use few embellishments. So the fact that we used a lot of thickers and chipboards for this layout is that it would look awkward to actually add a lot of embellishments on that layout. You've done a mixed media kind of backgrounds, you've recycled a lot of chipboards and thickers, so adding a lot of embellishments would overwhelm the look of your layout. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a couple of um, stickers from Studio Calico, uh, those gold um, chipboard stars and some of the that away stickers. Um, this is all I'm gonna add and some arrow cork 
arrow that I'm going to add here and there. So this is my final layout. I really hope that you enjoy this video. Remember that you can use any kind of chipboards, any kind of thickers. Try to use those that are chipboards, not those that are foam, because those are gonna look weird when you're gonna use the heat gun on them. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the two piece in a bucket message boards and, and take care, bye bye, thank you.